And the number one question lately has been male or female caller? Um, are female callers better than male callers? And um, with that question, should I just get a female agent? So I'm going to answer that question um, from my experience. I'm a male caller, <laughs> number one, but um, we have a lot of agents um, and we're in every state right now, except for Alaska and Hawaii. Um, and my answer is, look at the person as a human being. There is no better agent, male or female. They're both good. Um, for us, we have male agents close a lot of deals. We have female agents and they close a lot of deals. So what do I recommend? Um, how would I pick the agent? If I was looking for an agent, if you didn't want us to hire the agents for you, because that's our specialty, that's, we're really good at it, um, finding very talented agents. Um, so I'll just give you a few secrets. Um, if you're gonna do the hiring yourself, um, I would meet with the person just like on a virtual call. Um, I look them in the face, I look them in the eyes, and I ask, I would ask them some questions. Look, um, can this person that's in front of me, male or female, can this person do the job? Can this person make the calls for me? Is this person the breadwinner of their family? Does their family count on this person to put food on the table? Um, what is this person's motivation? Why do they want to work? Why do they want to call? A humble person or are they a person that brags a lot? Um, for us, I don't like to hire people that aren't humble. Um, it's just my own personal opinion. Um, my choice over the years, we do much, much better when the person is just a, is a humble person. And that doesn't mean that they don't know they're good at what they do. They're just not always bragging about what they do. Um, I also really like to look at people that, um, yeah, they're the breadwinners for their family, but I like to ask some questions about their family, just to find out where they are, where their head is, what they're thinking. And then I like to ask them, where do they see themselves in our company? Where do they see themselves in a couple months, maybe in a year? Um, are they looking for long-term, short-term? Um, I ask them all those questions. And um, I like people that have experience in the call centers, um, especially sales. And the reason I like that is because, I mean, very difficult campaigns. Um, they develop thick skin. Um, and that's really important in this, in this work because we do, you know, you get people that say no and you get people, a lot of people are nice, you know, but there's also those people that are very, they can be mean and we don't know what kind of day they've had. We don't know why they're being mean. And if someone just has like customer service experience, they, they don't really, they haven't really worked in sales. It's, it's sometimes very difficult. So I look for those things. Most important thing I look for though is voice. Minimal accent or no accent. That's what we want and then their home setup. Um, do they have a good home setup? Do they have backup? Um, do they have a back, I mean, do they have a good internet connection? Um, how are the, how's their computer? Um, you know, I wanna see what, what they have in their computer. Um, and do they, do they have backup um, for, you know, if their internet goes out, do they have some type of backup? It's important. There's always, they call it brownouts here in the Philippines. Um, if you're looking for someone that's never gonna have a brownout, never gonna have a loss of power, always gonna be there, good luck to you. Um, it's part of life here in the Philippines. So you have to be a little flexible with that. Um, that being said, um, you want people that are gonna come to work every day and that are gonna do their best. And you want people that are gonna be motivated by when they close deals that they're gonna get some kind of commission. So you give them an hourly rate plus 
some kind of commission um, when they close a deal. And you want those people. You don't want people that are, are just going to work for the hourly rate and then they're going to fall asleep while they're making calls. Um, they're going to be bored. They're going to be doing a million other things. You want people that are that are motivated to find the deals so that they can get that extra commission because that's huge for them here in the Philippines. And those are some of the things we look for. Okay. So if you want to meet with me and talk to me about hiring an agent right now, it's 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 anywhere from 10 days to two weeks. So it could be up to two weeks to get an agent um, because our demand's high right now. But the easiest way to meet with me is just go to the website. Um, it's EWC, EWCVirtualHub.com. It's right here. Um, EWCVirtualHub.com. All you got to do is either click this blue Get Started or this other one right here on top. And a calendar is going to open up. And I call it Discovery Call or that's just what it's called. One hour's best. Um, and as you can see, I'm pretty filled up here, but I have some days. Um, July is better. I'm, I have more open days. Um, but just because of our demand, I don't have that many days to meet with you. But pick a day that works for you. Pick a time that works for you. This is Filipino time. When you, of course, when you do your, you pick your time, it's going to be of your Eastern Standard Time, if maybe Pacific Standard Time. Um, you're going to just pick a time that works for you. And then we'll meet. We'll both get emails saying that we have a discovery call. And then we'll, I'm going to give you a presentation. It takes about an hour about how we do things and the tools we use, the partnerships we use, and then you can decide if it's a good fit or not, okay?